In case y'all don't know what y'all are looking at, this is what it looks like whenever you look through a refractometer. You can tell it's at 15, negative 15. We're testing pool or uh, pool today. I'm going to show you guys how to use this. That reading was out of a uh, F350. Super duty. We're going over here, check another one. I was out of buddy of mine's truck. We wanted to see if you needed a cool one. Oh, give me a minute. I set up a camera. Alright. So you gotta use your refract collar. First thing you need to do, take it out. Make sure you have a clean surface. Give me one minute. Make sure your surface is clear. Everything's good. What you want to do is you want to take the chopper. Get a sample. Get a sample of your cord. Take it. One or two drops. Refractometer. See the drops on there a little bit. Close the lid. If you close it, you want to look through it. As much light as you can get. I think we have mostly water. Give me a minute. All right. So as y'all can see, well, maybe not. Give me a minute. Woo. Y'all can see it's at negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit, or positive 20 degrees Fahrenheit on the Hutling Glock Light Hall side. That's a really good meaning that it's a good majority water because if it had any ethylene glycol, it would not be anywhere close to 20 degrees. It'd be close to a negative, uh, negative uh, 40, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, uh, but it's mostly water. So that's how you check your uh, check your coolant level with the refract offer. You just want to make sure it's within spec. It's on the back of the bottle. Make sure it's uh, good to go. If, it, if it's over zero degrees, or uh, you just don't want it to freeze. 